Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mario, um, Super Mario Land 2. Six Golden Coins. And we are now continuing on with Macro Zone. And in this stage, it appears that we are inside of a library. And we are just a tiny little person moving around as a speck of dust. And... And these enemies, the Goombas, and the Koopas, and the Piranha Plants, are the main course of collecting... of making dust in the library. Oh. Actually, we didn't even need that. We actually didn't even need that. Um, I don't know what that was. Some kind of one-up witch? I'm not sure what it is. But apparently, once a one of, um, apparently once a heart comes out and lands on the ground, a witch appears, and then it just runs away. And if you t if you tag it, it will drop the one of mushroom and disappear. And we have made it to the boss. This boss is called. Sewer Ratch. Yep, that's right. Sewer Ratch. As you can tell, it goes inside of pipes and sometimes goes on top of the ceiling and lands right back on the top. And, and lands right back on the ground. And usually it likes to go to the right after it drops. Usually. I'm not sure if it goes to the left. But most of the time it goes to the right. Anyway, it's down. And we got the third golden coin. Of, which is from Macro Zone. The next visitor of the library is going to probably wonder why the heck the books are so du dusty. So stinking dusty. Now I'm going to do a little bit of gambling. Hmm. Here I go. I'm betting on it. Awesome. 20 one ups. 20 up. I mean, 20 up. And if you haven't. S did you see that? I actually could have gone 50 up instead of 20 if I had stopped a bit sooner. But hey, that's still pretty good. That is. Pretty darn good. Anyway, time to go to Pumpkin Zone. And here we are in, of course, and obviously, well, we're inside of a graveyard stage. And here are some cores that have, sp that have spike balls on them that move up and down. These enemies have, have masks on with swords stuck in their head. 
and you just jump on top of them and that's it that's all you do they're they are just as weak as a Goomba yep Okay, so here we have some reappearing, disappearing blocks. Checkpoint, Venus Fire Trap, Falling Spikes, That was close. Oh, great. So it was either the Venus Fire Trap Fireball or the enemy that was right there. Oh, would you look at this? It's a witch. Oh, don't turn your back on me, otherwise it will be your downfall. Anyway, moving on. By the way, that wish that's flying in the sky is actually the boss. Oh, what's down here? What? Wait, is that a blurb or a cheap cheap? Is one or the other? I didn't mean to go down here. And what exactly are these? And what are these? Up, uh, oh. Um. Okay, so once you get close to it, it will make sure you jump before you continue on. Otherwise, it's going to hit you, of course. And what good is a haunted stage without booze? Without these guys, it wouldn't actually be that much of a Mario game, would it? I'm surprised the booze didn't appear in any of the, um, the temple stages in the first game. But then again, the Boos made their debut into Super Mario Bros. 3. Those, those statues look really sad and creepy. Make sure you don't let the tongue touch you. Okay, so we can't get up here, so we'll just have to go up this way, and... Okay, so let's go down here. Because this is where the secret lies.
And before you go down here, make sure you are at least Super Mario. If not, you can't do that. You can't drill through the pipes. You can't drill through those blocks. Whoa, now. I never really actually tried to hit those things, jump on top of them. I don't really take out time to do that. So here's the secret area. There are actually two secret courses in in this zone. And this of course happens to be one of them. So many coins. So, so many. By the way, if you fail to complete this stage, then you have to start over. I mean, you start, not only that you start the stage over, but you go immediately back to the main pumpkin zone. The main part of the pumpkin zone. And the only way you can actually go back is if you beat the stage over again by finding the secret again. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. And hopefully I actually made myself clear. Uh, I don't care. I don't care about the bell. <clears throat> pumpkin Zone... 3? Yeah, Pumpkin Zone 3. Whoa. A ghost? I mean... A Goomba ghost, I guess. Goomba Boo? Goomboo? No, I'm just making up names. I think this is the first time you actually see a, a ghostly boo. I mean, a, a ghostly Goomba in any Mario game. I actually wonder why I did that. And just so you know, I did complete this. I had completed the stage already, but I edited it out the first time I beat the stage. Which is why I was able to go back. Because once you beat the stage, you can pause the... You can go back to the stage, pause the game, and then press the select button to exit. Whoa. I do not need to be touched by you. I can't believe I actually ran into that Venus fire traps fireball. That's actually pretty embarrassing. Whoop. Okay. The next secret exit is right over here. You need to be Bunny Mario to make it pass here. Anyway, moving on. I don't really need that fire flower right now. So, all you have to do is just make it to the exit, as usual. Okay, I need to land on top of here, jump up here, and keep going.
I don't know why I'm actually killing the Goombas. There's no score system in this game. I don't know why. I mean, it's so unusual for a game like this 